Bridasdorp, a small town 35 kilometers north of the southernmost tip of Africa, on a tourist route, but arguably, if not for the brutal murder of 17-year-old Anine Boysen, the town would virtually be unknown. A year on, the community is still one in the grips of poverty and alcoholism. The signs outside David's pub clearly indicate that no under-18s are allowed on the premises. Yet, Anine Boysen managed to slip through at just 17 years old, an obvious oversight on the part of management. It was after leaving this pub that she was brutally murdered. Boysen's attack led to a range of initiatives to improve the living conditions of Bredastorp residents. Higher Education Minister Bladen Zamande and the Construction CETA set up a skills development program for over 600 youths last April. The community has also established a weekend neighborhood watch in Boysen's honor. It's walking over weekends and uh, trying to help the police keeping crime low. I've always walked uh, with them. So these people leave their wives and children at home from 10 o'clock at night till 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, looking after the uh, community of Radarsel. But while some initiatives have been taken to improve the community, on the face of it, it seems not much has changed in the area a year later. Women here, the majority of whom are too afraid to go on camera, say they feel just as unsafe now as they did a year ago. No, it's not going to change at all, because it's still continuing all the time. That's what I'm saying. People who have small children need to be alert because their children are being assaulted. Makaya, as to other women in the area, feels Boysen's death did little to improve their lives and that it will take a lot more than a neighborhood watch and a trauma center to restore dignity to the town. Leanne Jansen, Bradas Dorp, in the Western Cape. Know more about your world. ENCA.com